Okay, so welcome. In this lab, we are focusing on footprinting and reconnaissance using NS Lookup. So I'm already at a command line. Let's go ahead and get in our NS Lookup prompt. Happens to be that's going to be our DNS server. Let's look at help. Let's see what options we have. Let's expand this. So we actually have several different tools that we can do. One of the nice ones is our set option. So we can actually type set type equals A. And that will set our record types to the A record. So let's ping Google, or let's look up Google. And we should be able to get a appropriate response. Well, the next question is, what happens if we do our type to a C name? And we look up Google. You notice, we may get different responses. Our common name is now looking up the name server for google.com. We can actually set our servers. So server, set it to Google. Now let's change our type back to A. Now let's look up Google again. Notice different responses. With our DNS server being the Google public DNS, we actually get different responses than we did before. Up here, we got just one address, 70.186.10.20. And you'll notice we got a lot more this time. So let's go and change the name back to CNAME, or the type back to CNAME. And again, let's look up google.com. Again, we get a different name server. We get a different uh, responsible uh, mail address. So we looked up A records. We looked up uh, C names. What about if we set it to MX, our mail exchange? And we look at google.com. We then start to see what mail exchanges are part of google.com. Maybe useful information, maybe not. And the mail normally is a good one because that will let you look up specific mail servers. What if we change it to AAA? AAA is the IPv6 version, google.com. And there is our IPv6 response. So gives us some options. The nice thing is being able to use NS Lookup to explore different aspects of a domain, it sometimes yields important information. That's actually it for this little bit. Thank you.